Hello everyone, today we're going to do something fun. I want to show you how quick Duo can bring speed to security. Now, what I mean by that is essentially bringing two-factor authentication to your applications and users and devices as quick as possible. I want to show you how easy it is that we can actually do this. And to demonstrate this, we're actually going to use the uh, documentation for the Duo Unix two-factor authentication for SSH with the PAM module. Now the cool thing here what I've done is I've actually created a script which is going to essentially give us everything we need in this documentation in a matter of less than a minute I guess um, I'm hoping so. Um, to show you how quick we can actually configure this um, if you want to create scripts and, and stuff to, to roll this out. Now I've created a script to do this. Uh, we'll, we'll get to see kind of how quick that actually works in this video and we can what I'll do is I'm going to put down a countdown timer. I'm going to set it to around five minutes time and we'll see how quick I can kind of go from the Duo admin panel uh, base configurations to actually using my script and getting two-factor authentication configured on a CentOS 8, I think it is, yeah, CentOS 8 system. So we're going to protect that system uh, with two-factor authentication using Duo and we're going to use my script to do this and see how quick we can actually do this so so I have a brand new machine um, this one here and I'll just make this a little bit bigger and I'll make sure the text is also bigger the appearance uh, font. let's just make this a little bit bigger there Okay, cool. So hopefully we can see that now. And this is a brand new system. There's nothing on the system. Um, and just to kind of prove to you that there's no authentication, two-factor authentication in place already, let me just log in again with root. And you can see I'm straight in with a username and password. Now, imagine a, a business that's got multiple... Um, servers and they're accessing these servers via SSH. There could be CentOS servers, there could be Ubuntu servers, um, you know, different flavors of Unix uh, Duo can, can protect. Um, configurations are slightly different. Again, we're focusing on CentOS 8 today. Um, so imagine you've got, say, 10 servers. And I've got critical, um, the, the critical to your business. And we want to add an extra layer of protection using Duo two factor authentication. Well, we can do this not only by using the documentation on the Duo documentation website, but also by if you really wanted to create scripts and to push this out. Um, very quickly protecting your servers in a matter of minutes and all those users that are accessing it. So this is exactly what we're going to do today. The only difference is we're going to demonstrate this on one um, server. So as I said this is a brand new system there's nothing on it. Um, I've got root access. I've already created my script uh, for this and um, I'm going to get rounds at some point getting it uploaded to my uh, GitHub repository. I've not done that yet. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of copy the script into this new system here um, and we'll get started by, um, we'll, we'll start the clock essentially when we start to configure um, Duo from the admin panel all the way through to running the script and to the end and we'll see kind of how quick we can do that. So let's go to our instructions for the script first before we start. And essentially what I've done, um, 
I the the instructions are, are, are fairly simple. There's you know three steps for if you complete the testing. Um, the first one is to add the script to uh, your home folder uh, into the root home folder. The second is to obtain the I key, S key, and API host name from the Jua admin panel and create the following file before saving. And we've kind of got the path here, and we put those uh, in in there. And then we're going to run the script, and essentially the script is going to configure everything we need, and also pick up the IKS key and API host um, as well, which is which is great. Now, unfortunately, we can't use the Duo API to um, pull the IKS key and host. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway, I have, I have, I did have a look, and I don't believe you can do it. Um, so this is why we kind of step to need to create a um, just a, a, a folder essentially, just so that we can um, uh, reference those uh, parameters, and then the script will pull. Uh, I've kind of wrote the script to um, pull uh, those parameters from there. Um, and that's it. We run the script, and it'll t the script will tell us when it's complete, and then we can just simply test uh, SSH access. So it's very, very straightforward. So without further ado, let me sign in first, and then I'll just approve this on my watch, which is really cool, and. I'm going to get the timer up. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so the timer's on now, and I've set the timer to five minutes. So I'm really open, and I really think I'm. I really think that we can actually do this in in less than five minutes. But I'm really hoping that we can get through everything we need to in around five minutes, uh, start to finish. And again, it's just to kind of demonstrate how easy it is to implement Duo to protect applications and, and devices and, and users as well. So let me start the clock. So press start now. So if I want to protect application and I go type in Unix, we protect Unix application two-factor authentication. We need the integration key. So we'll paste that into here. We need the secret key, and again, key that to yourself. This is a demo, and we need the API host name. So we we'll copy that in there. We'll leave the application policy as default. We'll change the name to demo just to identify. Uh, save that, and now we're good on that. Let's go back to our application as well so first of all we need to make a directory in etc called duo once we've done that we can now create this file and add the config to it so let's copy that in there okay now what we'll do is we'll change directory to home where we're going to create our script called centos8 underscore duo underscore two factor authentication dot sh and we'll edit that and what we need to do is we need to add our script into there I'll exit out of that and let's do uh, execute permissions on that so that we can run it let's ls alright we're good there so now we should be able to run this let's run that script and let's just sit back and uh, watch it run through. So we need to press yes on that just to download the Duo Unix uh, package. And we're doing good, we've still got three minutes. So that's taken us two minutes to do the uh, application. I know very quickly on the Duo admin panel, you know, you were, probably would take more time on that. Um, but, you know, we're talking about speed to security here. Um, and then we also created those uh, manual bits and pieces in there as well. And now we're just running through the script um, as well. So we've got that. 
just over two minutes left. You're just waiting for the installation to finish now. Uh, we can see there now it's completed successfully. So we should be able to tell straight away. So let me just duplicate this session and now let's try logging with root. By the way, this user is not enrolled in Duo. So we should get an enrollment message. And boom, there you go. So we can see there that now we can uh, enroll as well. Now what I will do is I'll just duplicate this because I do have a user that's enrolled already. So let's do this. And have I received, yep, I've got my approve here. And there you go, you can see auto push and you can see I've logged in. So just like that. We, we've managed to do it in, I believe we still had about two minutes left by the time we did all that. Um, we can check the reports. We can see that our Unix application demo, uh, we've been given access there as well, which is great. So we've managed to, in terms of speed to, to security, you know, Duo kind of lives up to its name. Obviously I've created a script to make it a lot quicker. Um, but the point is that you can roll this out if you create a script to multiple servers in absolutely no time at all. Um, so you can end up protecting your devices and the users accessing those devices and applications in no time at all as you've just seen here uh, this was a perfect demo for it so thank you for watching I hope you found that useful if you think you would find my script useful um, do let me know um, I do need to make some um, uh, slight modifications just um, cosmetics obviously you've just seen that the script works um, I will be getting that up to uh, GitHub at some point, um, but yeah, as you can see there, nice and easy to implement there. Thank you.